Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Scrap to Cast. First and foremost, I just wanted to welcome the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And what we're going to do for today is we're going to go ahead and melt down some aluminum bronze. This aluminum bronze I've made over the last couple of weeks with the intentions of casting a miniature cannon. I 3D printed these four parts here and we're going to go ahead and do a sand casting today. I've already got a new box that I just made. Looks pretty good. The arrows are so I know which way each piece goes. And before I get started, we've got one dollar here that we're going to go ahead and throw into the slot machine. So hopefully we've got a little bit of luck today. Okay, we've got four credits in here. Max bet is three. And the handle does work. Ooh, we got two credits, so that's enough for another spin. And that was a dud. Typical slot machine, that's usually what happens. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get the sand mold made up, and then we'll bring you back for the melting footage.
Okay, everyone, the cannon is all set. Not my best work. I'll show you what I mean. So here it is. The first thing is, there was a air pocket inside here when I tried boring it out. So you can see that it definitely screwed up. It's really bad. But whatever, this was only for display anyways, and I could always do another one. The second thing I should have done was, I should have casted it vertically like this, instead of horizontally, like I did. And the reason for that is, you could see on the top side here, this was the top, you could see the shrinkage. Kind of reminds me of that Seinfeld episode when George Costanza was in the pool. But anyways, live and learn, it's only going to be a display piece for the stack. Let's go ahead and weigh it up and see what we got. So, a little over three pounds, which is 1.366 kilos. And let's add the rest of the aluminum bronze. This is what was left over, and I did melt down four ingots. And there's the sprues. So, in total, 1.810 kilos, which equals pretty much four pounds. So, not too bad, but like I said, it could have came out better. I do like the way it looks. It will look great with the stack, which I'm going to stick it right here. Or maybe right here. Just for now. And I will be making a canning cart for it sometime in the future. And then this stuff, we'll just stick it here. I've got another casting project we're going to be doing next week. So what did you think of the video, everyone? Yeah, I know it's not my best work, but I did try my best. And I did point out my mistakes. So hopefully the next time I do it, I will take my own advice, cast it vertically. I'll put a taller riser on there so there won't be any shrinkage on the cannon itself. And hopefully there won't be any air pockets inside when the metal's cooling. But anyways, thank you very much for watching my video, everyone. Happy scrapping, casting, and stacking.